people, um, the heritage. Catherine's a very old village mm -hmm. that was built in the 18th century and uh, it has a proud history of being a working people's village. Um, that's what everyone will tell you, um, but unfortunately since oh, about the beginning of the 20th century, industry left mm -hmm. and uh, unemployment is now very high, deprivation is high, poverty is high and all of the ills that go along with poverty are are rife in the village. Mm -hmm. um, it's very sad um, and we're trying to do something about that. So could you tell me what initiatives are the community involved in um, that will help to unlock opportunities? Basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to save um, the buildings associated with Catherine's Heritage mm -hmm. for the benefit of the community. Um, the village hall is, was built in 1840 something, I think. It's a beautiful, fun, whimsical Victorian building. Um, it's not in a great state, so we're trying to raise money to save that building and turn it into something positive for the community. We're right on the River Air Way, so we're trying to build tourism based on Catherine's heritage. And we still have a lot of buildings, um, you know, old buildings left from the 18th and early 19th century um, that we could convert and use as a, a tourist attraction. The village is, has been steeped in poverty now for long enough that there's a certain resignation um, if you talk to people and so we have a lot to overcome. What's the one message that you want to give to the local decision makers, Gillian? Don't give up on Katra. Listen to the people, listen to them. They know the village better than you do. Mm -hmm. They know its history and heritage better than you do. They have ideas. They know what could be done and they know why they want to do it. They want to do it for the kids growing up to give them something to be proud of because being proud of where you come from and being rooted in your community makes for, for healthy kids and uh, that's what we want to accomplish.